Hello artists! In this video we're gonna work on drawing conversation hearts, one of my favorite Valentine's candies. So grab those favorite supplies and meet me back here so we can get started. For these conversation hearts there are two ways that we can make a heart. You can have some extra scrap paper folded in half like a book and it doesn't have to be a square piece of paper either. This is just extra paper I have that I'm using up. So don't feel like you have to use square piece of paper for this Valentine. So now that I've folded my paper in half, I've got my folded side and my open side. We want to make sure that we are not drawing on the open side. If we were to draw our heart on the open side and we cut it, we will have two separate pieces. We are wanting to create one whole symmetrical heart. So this is a really good option when you are wanting both um, sides of your heart to be the same. And I always like to describe this as using um, like a diagonal candy cane shape, right? We want that nice curve of a candy cane but it needs to be on a diagonal so that way it creates the point for the bottom part of the heart. So I'm going to start, I don't wanna start right at the top because then we'll, we won't have room for the top part of the heart. So you're gonna to need to come down a little bit on the folded side and think about a candy cane shape, how it curves at the top and then bring the handle down of the candy cane more at a diagonal and we're drawing on the fold so that way when we cut it it stays one complete heart this is only one way to draw a heart you don't have to do it this way it just does save some time in making a symmetrical heart that way it's the same on both sides all right and I've created several, but you can also just use the V and M method as well. So I will show you how to do that. I'm going to start with a very big letter V because I'm not adding anything else to this Valentine. I'm just drawing the heart so I can make this heart a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna make my V. And now that I have my letter V, I can focus on making the arches for the top of the heart. So remember you can use two rainbow lines or think about the McDonald's letter M, the arches, it is up to you. But you definitely want that curve for the top part. Okay, so we have this. I might erase some of those extra lines. Now, a conversational candy heart, conversation heart, is 3D. It has sides, and that's what we're going to create now with this candy. I might actually use the red one so you can see this better. Picture your conversation heart kind of on its side so that way we can see the sides of the candy. We're gonna first create this curve right here and it's going to just go right behind the second part of the top. And to do that, you're just gonna pick a spot close to the middle on the top part of the heart. And you're gonna follow the curve a little bit, but you want it to just disappear right behind the other. All right, and that is this side for the top of this heart. For the next one, we're gonna follow all the way down to the point. And we're gonna start about the same spot, the middle part on this 
curve for the top part of the heart and we're gonna follow it closely for just a little bit and then we're gonna start pulling away just a little bit but we want to make this like a parallel line we want it to follow the same thing that the first line of the heart how we started so we want to follow the curve and then when we get to the bottom we're going to use a horizontal line to connect and that's going to give you that 3D conversation heart effect. And then you can leave some um, like shiny areas where you don't color in so it looks like it's shiny. You can come up with nice sayings like sweet or you're great for your Valentine. Enjoy the conversation hearts. <laughs>